Hi, I'm Wilson, and today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to program the Logitech G502 mouse for the uses of the command line tool. The command line tool is a text based command prompt that allows you to interact with the computer. The great thing about the Logitech G502 mouse is the fact that not only can you use it for gaming, but also for productivity. In this case, you can program all the buttons here to type a message with a simple click of a mouse. Through the usage of what is called a macro. I will show you what a macro is momentarily. Before I begin, if you want to know more information about the G502 mouse, please click on the link in the description for the first video tutorial I created about the mouse. I am not sponsored by Logitech, I just enjoy this product and want to make a tutorial to help you out. And if you need the software program that you see on the screen, all you have to do is click on the link in the description and download the program and follow the on-screen instructions to do so. Let us begin. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have your mouse, which is right here, and make sure you have the software program, which is on the screen. Okay then, first thing we're going to do is click on desk desktop. Excuse me. We're going to click on the desktop and we're going to click add game or application. Now, the application I'm going to be using is the command line tool, which is CMD, right here. Click on that. And it's going to be located here at, oh, hold on. I will show you exactly where the, where the program is in a moment. So we're going to click on the CMD, make sure it's right there, and click open. If you're looking for the CMD program on your own, it would be right here. It would be C, Windows, 30. System 32, right there. Okay. We're going to click here, and CMD default is now active. Okay, that's what we're looking for. With this tutorial, I'm going to be programming these three buttons here on the side and these two on the top. I may even use the middle click feature, which is down middle click, left and right on the middle click wheel. The CMD default is selected. Let's click on the mouse. First thing I always like to do is to set up the color of the mouse. I'm going to set it to fixed and I'm going to change it to a nice dark blue. And click sync lighting zones. That way they're both blue. See right there? Nice and blue. What's on the screen is what's on the mouse. Okay, then let's go to the assignments button. And as we can see here on the assignments button, you have a plethora of options. Let's start with the DPI up button. The first thing you want to do is click on DPI button right there. Notice how it's highlighted in blue. When it's highlighted in blue, that means that it's ready to be programmed. Click on macros. And we're going to go ahead and create new macro. Now we're going to give it a name, but just to make it easier, I made a list. I'm going to go ahead and the first macro is going to be CD which is change directory. When this happens, that usually means you left the software program. It says desktop default is now active. Would you like to keep configuring CMD default? And of course the answer is yes. Okay. It's going to be called CD. Uh, and then we're going to hit no repeat because you just want to click on the button once and the command will happen once. Go ahead and click start now and text any emojis. We're going to simply type CD and then click done and click save. We have not programmed any of the buttons yet but what we're going to do is we're going to go to DPI up notice that it's in blue and we're going to click CD there. Now it's set to go. We have more buttons to program. So let's go ahead and create a new macro again. We're going to call it CD dot dot. And what CD dot dot performs is you're changing directory backwards. So for example, you're in file B, but you have to go to file A. So you hit CD dot dot and you're in file A, just as an example. Again, no repeats, start now. 
text and emojis. We're going to do CD dot dot. And we're going to click done. Click save. And then now we're going to do DBI down. Click it. Make sure it's blue and CD dot dot. And it changed it right there. When it comes to using the command line tool, you want to make sure you know what's in the directory itself. So let's go ahead and program this button to show what the contents of the directory is. Create macro, and we're going to use we're going to name it dir slash b. What dir slash b performs, it shows you the contents of the directory, but in a very bare bones format. I will explain what it does in detail later on in the video. For now, we're just going to focus on programming the mouse itself. Go ahead and click, I mean, not click, press enter. And then we're going to hit no repeat again. Start now, text and emojis. And we're going to type in dir slash b. Hit done. Click save. Now we're going to click the forward button and we're going to click dir slash b. For this button, we're going to show, hmm, what would be a good command to show? Let's see here. True F, M, D, move, C, L, S, up arrow, down arrow. Actually, let's use move, the move command. Okay, click here on the back button, create new macro, and we're going to call it move. No repeat, and start now. Text in emojis, and just type the word move, M-O-V-E. Done. Click save. So now we have directory, bare bones, minimum, as I like to call it back. Oh, look at that. Just click it, make sure it's blue, and then click move. For this button, we're going to use the CLS command. CLS. What the CLS command does is it, it cleans up the, the command lines that has been typed up. Sometimes it gets cluttered. I'll show you what it does later on. Start now. Text and emojis. CLS. Done. Save. Click the DPI shift. It's blue. Click CLS. There you go. It's programmed. Now we have the middle click button. Let's see what I want to do with the middle click feature. Because you have the middle click, the right click scroll, and the left click scroll. Let's take a look at my options here. Hmm. You know what? I think we're going to use up arrow and down arrow for this one. Notice how when I get off the application, it switches to the default desktop. If that ever happens to you, just simply do this. Click on that, and then click the CMD. Now I'm back on top of where I need to go in order to program the mouse. We're going to go ahead and go to Keys. And for this one, we're going to type in, what was it, the up? Yes, I think it was up. Yes, click up. Oh, but look at that. We have to select which one we want. So for this one, I'm going to select that one, scroll left, and it's going to be highlighted in blue, and click up. Perfect. For this one, the scroll right, make sure it's highlighted in blue, and we're going to type down. Okay, make sure you're on keys, type the word down, and down right there. Perfect. Okay, then. Now, just for fun, I'm going to switch the secondary click mouse. I'm going to use the Enter key. If I wanted to, I mean, I, just, just for fun. If you have to use the CMD tool a lot, then, you know, it might help. Just for fun. Okay, that's done right there. And for the onboard profile cycle, because we're using specifically the CMD command line tool, 
let's use one of my most favorite commands on the tool. But first, we need to go to macro, create new macro, and tree slash f. I'll show you what tree slash f does later on. Start now, text and emojis, tree slash f. Done. I'm going to click save. Clean that up. And there's our macro right there. So go ahead and click on that. Make sure it's blue. Tree slash F. And it's set to go. Okay then. It looks like I got almost everything I need. Let me just double check. Okay. So change directory. Up. CD. DIR slash B. Move. CLS. Looks good. Looks good. Okay then. We're going to click this arrow right here, and look, it's all set and ready to go. Let's get to minimize this right now, and I'm going to go ahead and close this document. Notice how that it's switching colors. It's set to default. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and open the uh, CMD. So Control-R, CMD, boom, it's switched to blue. Look at that. CMD on the screen, blue on the mouse. Now let's go ahead and click off the CMD and it switch back to normal. I'm going to open the CMD again, the command line tool, and here we are in beta. Now let's use some commands, shall we? Let's go to uh, CD. So I programmed this button. Let's see what happens when I push this button and let's see what happens on the screen. CD, perfect. Now the CD means change directory. In this case, I'm going to go to the desktop. So DE, I'm going to type in DE and hit the tab key. When you hit the tab key, it's going to guess what you want. And in this case, I do want the desktop. Now then, I'm going to display what I need on the directory. Let's see what's on this directory, shall we? I'm going to use, I think it was this button on the top, the one near the target, this one right here, let's see. Oh, that's exactly what I was looking for. So when I click this button, it'll show me the dir slash b command. Slash b basically just shows the bare bones of what's on the directory. Now remember the right click, I programmed it to hit enter for me. So right click, enter. All right, so it looks like I have a document. I got some kind of a link here, photos, reports, and txt files. Now, what I'm going to go ahead is use this button right here, which is the tree slash F button. What tree slash F does is simply shows the, the folders and the subfolders and the files within them. So let's take a look. Tree slash F right there and click the right click for the enter. Look at that. It's a series of files and folders. So for example, this is a folder called photos. These are the contents of the photos themselves. And then this is another one called eight called reports. That's a folder called reports. That's a sub folder, sorry, folder, subfolder, and the contents of the subfolder as you can see right here. Now then, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get the CLS command. If I remember where I put it. Nope, that's not it. Oh, there it is. It was this button right here. CLS. Go ahead and hit enter, or in this case, the right click button. And there we go. It's nice and clear. I'm going to hit CD. And I'm going to go to, hmm, I'm going to go to photos. I'm going to click enter. And then let's see, dir slash b. Oh, and look at that. It's a bunch of stuff. Now I'm going to use the move command, first of all. Let me just clean this up. I'm going to use the move command, which is this button right here. Move. And then I'm going to move. I'm just going to move all the pictures. Why not? JPG. Now, if you're wondering why I'm using the asterisk, it's just a walled card. So in this case, all the JPG files are going to move to the desktop. Oh, 
It looks like I did this, perform the syntax incorrectly. I'm going to use the shorter way of doing that. Move jpg dot dot. There we go. Four files have been moved. As you can see by utilizing the G502 mouse, you can use it to type messages. I'm going to show you each one, one by one. Clicking this top button, CD. Clicking this button right here below it, CD back back. Clicking on this button right here, the this one, DIR slash B. And then the one next to it, move this one, CLS. I'm going to go ahead and clear that up. Now then, for the middle mouse wheel, I programmed the left click of the mouse wheel, which is CLS, which will clean everything up. And then performing the other click. Oh, excuse me. It looks like I didn't perform that right there. Okay, then. Well, that's all the time I have, and I hope that helped with everything you're looking for within the G502 mouse. Remember, you can program it to type in any kind of message you want on each of the mouse buttons available here on the Logitech G502. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. I'll also leave a link to my website. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.